Seven, don't waste your money. That's what medical experts still say about the COVID-19 antibody test currently on the market. But as Maria Medina shows us, that's not stopping many people who want to get tested anyway. Maria? And Liz, obviously there are no hard numbers on how many people are getting these antibody tests. But I can tell you when I went in to get mine for this report, the place was packed. So how much can you trust your results? Well, we talked to one of the Bay Area researchers putting the tests to the test. I gotta say it's not like good news. So when Lam Vu discovered he had been exposed to COVID-19 on a business trip in early March, he immediately put his fan import business on hold. So I came back and got a um, swab test and it was positive. Then he got curious. Could the positive swab mean he had COVID-19 antibodies? So when Quest Diagnostics launched its new direct-to-consumer antibody testing service a few weeks ago, he was among the first to sign up. Sure enough, that test came back positive too. I'm hoping that eventually uh, the government is going to change um, the approach and maybe issuing like immunity car or people who have immunity can go back to work. As we first reported just three weeks ago, there was only one lab in the entire Bay Area offering antibody tests. Now the market has exploded. They're advertised all over the internet. Some even have sales going on with prices slashed. I decided to try it out and paid $120 to get a COVID-19 antibody test, also through Quest. All right, just pulled into the parking lot of Quest Diagnostics, about to get my antibody test. The test is a blood draw, supposedly more accurate than a finger prick. Quest Diagnostics uses a test authorized for emergency use by the Federal Drug Administration. It is among 11 the FDA has authorized so far. There are more than 200 others that are not. There are over 200 different antibody tests out there, right? At this point, more than we have for any other infectious disease. Patrick Sue is assistant professor of bioengineering at UC Berkeley, one of more than 50 top scientists working on the COVID-19 testing project. And one of these things that we're able to do in our study is to test all of these tests against each other head to head right in this bake off systematically using blood samples taken well before the outbreak that are expected to be negative and samples taken from patients believed to be positive from swab tests the researchers put 10 antibody tests to the test to see what they could detect tests on the negative samples had mixed results leading to a lot of false positives only one test called sure biotech got it right 100 percent of the time while a test called Deep Blue identified only 84% of negative blood samples as negative. The other 16% it falsely identified as positive. So that would really not be, not be acceptable performance. With the positive blood samples, the researchers detected antibodies 90% or more of the time, three weeks or more after symptom onset. But that doesn't take into account if you were exposed right before you got the test. And so that's also important to understand if you have a negative antibody test, it doesn't necessarily mean you haven't been exposed to the virus. It could have happened within the last three weeks, potentially. His word of warning for people like Lan Vu, who test positive. What it does not tell you is that you have protective immunity against the virus. There is likely some correlation between the two. But we cannot draw that conclusion. I will worry more about. Uh... Lan Vu says he hasn't changed his behavior. He still practices social distancing and wears a mask. But he's more hopeful about getting back to his fan import business. And he has plans to donate his plasma. If I could help anyone, that would be, that would make me happy. And we reached out to Deep Blue, a company based in China, for their response to the poor test results. So far, we have not heard back. Meanwhile, I'm still waiting for my results. It takes three to four days, and of course, I'll keep you posted. Liz. So how was the testing process, and is it only out of pocket? Yeah, so I waited for a few minutes. Like okay. I said, it was a busy day. The waiting room was packed, so be prepared to wear a mask or wait outside. Once I did sit down, however, someone took a vial of blood, and I was out the door in just a few minutes. Again, it was $120 for the test, but we are hearing some insurance companies are now covering the cost. Liz? All right, great information. Thank you, Maria.